Welcome to the GIC Learning Hub. In this episode, we are going to take a look at how to program your 48 by 48 mm temperature controller. Let's start by taking a look at the connection diagram. Before we get into programming, let's take a look at the buttons and their basic functionalities. Let's start with the two displays on the controller. The upper display shows the process value or PV that is the current temperature of the process, while the lower display shows the set value or SV is the desired temperature set by the user. Now, let's move on to the four buttons. The escape key helps you exit from the main menu and return to the home screen. It is also used to display the set point menu. The down arrow key displays the effective set value with a single press, and the up arrow key displays the set value with a single press. Use the enter key to save the current value and move on to the next parameter while programming. Let's get on to programming. Start by pressing the escape key. It'll display the main menu. Then use the up and down arrow keys to select the desired parameter. Once the parameter is selected, press the enter key to enter the value. Then press escape. That's all there is to know. Simple, isn't it? Let's take an example to understand and program the temperature controller, shall we? We're using a PT100 sensor and the PID method and setting a random temperature of 100 degrees. Let's take a look at the connection diagram. The temperature controller is connected to L plus and in minus and two wires for the heater. There's one unique color wire and two same color wires that need to be connected. Let's program it. I love doing this over and over. It's so simple. To select the input sensor, long press the down key for two seconds to bring up the sensor select menu. We want PT100 sensor, so keep pressing the down key until you see it on the display. Once you've selected it, press the enter key to save and move to the next step. Next, you will see the COP action. As we are using Relay as our output, no need to change. Next, you'll see the CON action and the PID displayed. We're using PID, so no need to change the menu. You are sorted. If you want to select on or off mode, just press the up or down key, then press enter to save and move to the next parameter. Now you'll see FUN on the display, which means function. We're using the heating function for this example, so no need to change the menu. Just press ESC to return to the main screen. To set the set point, which is written as SP, press the up key once to reach the SP1 menu, then press the up or down key to set the desired temperature. Finally, Press Enter to save. You can also auto-tune the product. It helps the controller understand the environment better. Let's see how we can do that. Long press the up key for two seconds. Then press the up key twice to select. Tune at the first power. Press Enter to save. Then press ESC to return to the main screen and power cycle the product. After power cycling the product, a simple display tells you that the auto-tune process is in progress. You'll see the A and T indication blinking until it's complete. Once auto-tune is completed, the temperature controller will start controlling the action. And with that, we've completed the programming. The updated temperature controllers come with an inbuilt memory card slot. Just use a memory card and you can copy the instructions onto other controllers. To begin with, insert the memory card and on the display you will see D slash S, which means display to card. This will copy the program from the device to the inserted memory card. Press enter, the device will show no. Press the up key, the device will show yes. Press Enter. If the screen displays D and E, it means that the program has been copied successfully. In the same way, 
You can also copy the program from the SD card to your device. The process is same. Just use the S slash D function, that is SD card to display. Simple, isn't it? For added security, you can even set a password to protect the settings. First, long press the ENT key for two seconds to enter the menu. Then, press the down key to go to REG, followed by another press of the down key to go to PWD. Press the ENT key and DIS will appear. Use the up or down keys to go to EN and press ENT again. Now you can set the desired password using the up key. Press ENT to confirm it. That's it. Your password is set and your instructions are safe. The updated temperature controller is smart to point errors when something goes wrong, so keep an eye for the following indications. If it says S.ER, there might be an issue with the sensor open or break error. If you see OVR, it's indicating an overrange error. And if it's UNR, it's telling you about an underrange error. If you see E.A and T, it means an error in auto-tuning. If it says SSR, it means there's a short circuit detection. There, now you can even detect errors in your system. Sometimes we do need a factory reset. Here's how you can do it. Long press the ENT key for two seconds to enter the menu. Then press the down key to go to REG followed by again pressing the down key to go to PWD. Press the down key once again to go to RST and then press ENT. It will show no. So use the up or down key to go to yes and press ENT again and you're done. Press the S key to exit. Just make sure you know what you're doing or you may waste your efforts. Not to mention loss of productivity. That's the end of today's Learning Hub video. Hope we've been helpful in explaining the product and its programming. For any questions or assistance, please reach out to us at info at GICindia.com or visit www.GICindia.com. GIC Temperature Controllers. Small in size. Big on impact.